<laughs> hey, what's up? It is Dust. This week I've got the mono water deck that I showed you guys in my videos in response to Don Ta on how I make my decks. Really, I only made one change, and that was swapping a Hokira for Rusalka. But if you guys have not seen that, here's the video. Three Cyber Sprites, early turn, one drop blocker, and Evo Bait for Neuron. Three Cyber Traders serve the same purpose as Evo Beta for Neuron, as well as a quick swap in hand if I have something I just don't need for the duel, or if I'm looking for the Neuron to evolve into. Three refis to provide more early blockers, only with a lot more power. Take care of a lot more things. Three ice blades help bounce back enemy low level blockers, low level threats. Doesn't do the best against Rush, who can just swarm the stuff right back anyway, but still useful. Two neurons evolve onto the um, cyborgs I showed you guys earlier. No double breaker, but attacks instantly. Unblockable, can draw, I mean, contributes to draw power. And a 5k for turn 3. Doesn't get much better than that. Until you, unless you have all your mana water. Three Reef Gladiators. Not that much, a level 3, 3000 blocker with guard. Unless you have all your mana water, which is not that hard to do in this deck. Then he jumps up to 6000 power. And whenever he blocks, you get to draw a card. Not a Cyberlord, he's an Aquan, so I can't evolve Neuron onto him, but that's probably for the best. I want to keep him separate. Two copies of one of my favorite commons, Memory Swarm. Keep up the unblockable factor in case my opponents are running defensive decks. In the other videos, you guys saw how I, why I dropped Logo Scan. There's plenty of draw power here already, but... Two level three cards that can draw two cards. Very useful. Same number of spy missions. It's one level more, but has the chance of being a shield blast later for the same effect. As I said, I swapped out Hukira for a third Rusalka to contribute to bouncing, help slow down the enemy so that I can climb my way up to a win. And since I've already maxed out on three, it makes sense to have two Veil Vortex to help increase the count of that effect. Plus, the chance to use on the opponent's turns of the bonus. Add in two Frog Zookas because I need a couple more blockers and just because I like them. 5,000 blockers stops a lot of things mid to late game, depending on what deck you're playing. And helping with the Cyber Lords, two fin bars for extra power. Didn't get to utilize it to, in the dual video as much as I did during playtesting, but he's helped. So has King Neptus when I played him. Only running him in ones, but in a pinch, level 5 for 5,000 creature that can't be hit with any spells or effects. The ultimate carnival and a card that I plan to make mill decks around. Forklift Tank Flurgal, level 6 for 4k, kind of gimpy until you consider the Pedal to the Metal ability, where when you attack, you get to pick at the enemy types the top card of their deck and sends it to the discard pile. There is really no disadvantage to doing this, so just do it every time. If it's a creature that was sent from the top of the deck to the discard, you get to bounce one of their creatures from the battles on back to the hand. If it was a... Um, spell, then you get to draw a card. If you play this turn 6, and then play this on turn 7, Milporo, Council of Logos, then you get a nice combo where Milporo's effect, you take one of their creatures in the battle zone, put it on top of their deck, and then Forklift Tank will have ended its summoning sickness, it can attack that same turn. So then he attacks, you know the top card's going to be a creature, You've successfully banished that card and gotten rid of another creature on their battle zone for a turn. Three cards left in the deck. I added in two Queen Orions because the deck lacked double breakers. It really won today's match. 
I didn't get to show off its unblockable ability because my opponent was using straight out fire, no blockers in there, but it's helped me in other decks. And finally, another card I didn't get to use today, Water Spout Gargoyle. A fun tech that's level 8 for 5k, and whenever he comes out, you can bounce any two creatures on the battle zone. Doesn't matter if they're yours or your opponents. And this includes itself. So you can use this with endless combos. That's all I've got for you guys today. Check out my other videos, like, subscribe, comment. If you want to talk Kaijudo, I have set up my, I've renamed my Skype to match the channel, Downtown Dusk. I should also advertise that I'm looking to join a team, so if anyone wants to talk to me about that, please hit me up or PM me if you don't have Skype. See you guys later.